it's anything like most biopharma that would be putting together the capital they need to continue their clinical trials or start their new clinical trials in the coming year. I don't think there's anything more important outside of the core science than to be properly capitalized to be able to conduct those clinical trials. So we have our first in human uh, clinical trial for our wound care program using spheroid uh, fibroblast to treat diabetic foot ulcers. So we have a, a nice large clinical trial starting in that area and that is really exciting. So everything we're doing now to develop the product, um, to uh, uh, certify the product and to get that shipped out uh, uh, has us busy until the first of the year. But then we will start that trial after the first of the year and uh, we should have some endpoints readouts uh, in about 12 weeks. I like to say to my chief scientific officer, a hundred people can tell you no for an investment, but that doesn't change the science. So everything starts and ends with the science. If the core of your science is solid, if you've done an internal, a rigorous internal review process of your science, if it's impeccable, if it's repeatable, then it doesn't matter how many people tell you no, uh, the science works stay in there, get the capital you need, uh, because people don't really understand what you're going through on the science, that they're not at the bench, so they may not understand the science, and if it's new, like ours is, which is science that nobody's ever seen before for fiberglass, then you have an extra hill to climb to talk to them about kind of a leap forward uh, in uh, medical treatment uh, for chronic diseases. So. Um, ours is based in our science, but to, to get that capital you need, uh, the, the core of it has to be a rigorous scientific process.